Denmark is a country in northern Europe and Scandinavia. It is the southernmost of the Nordic countries, southwest of Sweden and south of Norway, and bordered to the south by Germany. Denmark is one of the happiest countries in the world, with high levels of social mobility and equality for all. Denmark's capital Copenhagen has been ranked by Lonely Planet as one of the world's top 10 cities. The list below contains the top 10 best places that you can visit in Denmark to get a taste of Danish culture. Number 10. Aalborg is another medieval Danish city that has transformed over time into an industrial and cultural, with a focus on cultural center. The Aalborg Carnival, Scandinavia's largest carnival festival, is known for its theater, symphony, and opera. Half-timbered houses, the historic royal residence Aalborgers Castle, and the 14th-century Budolfi Church, which was built on the foundations of a former Viking church, are all prominent features of the city. Two old homes that stand out are Jensbang's 17th-century Dutch Renaissance dwelling, which has housed a pharmacy for 300 years, and 17th-century Mayor Jurgen Olufsen's half-timbered sandstone house. Number 9. Elsinore. Elsinore, also known as Helsing, is the home of Kronborg, one of the world's most famous castles and the setting for Shakespeare's Hamlet. Every year for the past 80 years, the play has been performed here. The original medieval fishing community was created in the 15th century, despite the fact that a castle and a chapel surrounded by convents were built a century earlier. It is now a bustling port city. The city's response to Copenhagen's Little Mermaid is Han, a 2012 monument at the port. Must-sees include the castle, the Maritime Museum, and the statue of Holger Dansk, a famous character who fought Charlemagne. Number 8. Denmark has a Riviera, which you wouldn't anticipate from a country so far north. The Danish Riviera is anchored by Jillily, a picturesque fishing community on the North Sea at the summit of Zealand. Fishermen use their boats to elude German occupiers and smuggle Danish Jews into Sweden, which was only 25 kilometers 15 miles away, during World War II. More information on these endeavors can be found in the local museum. Jillily, a 14th century town with many photo opportunities, is a delightful and quaint town with plenty of photo opportunities. Take a walk through the city, observe the daily morning fish auction, and pay homage to existential philosopher Sren Kierkegaard. Number 7. Ripe. You're not getting old. You're getting better. As the saying goes in Ribe, Denmark's oldest town. Ribe in the county of Jutland was founded as a Viking marketplace around 700, and its town hall is the country's oldest. Although it was built in 1496, it wasn't used as a town hall until 1709. Ribe has a lot to offer, from exquisite half-timbered medieval buildings to Ribe Cathedral, Denmark's first Christian church. You can learn about the city's Viking heritage or take a nocturnal tour with a night watchman throughout the summer. A neighboring ecological jewel is the Wadden Sea National Park. Number 6. Roskilde. Roskilde, one of Denmark's early capitals, is located 30 kilometers 20 miles west of the country's present capital Copenhagen. Many monarchs are buried in this city, which is one of Denmark's oldest. Their royal tombs can be located in Roskilde Cathedral, the earliest brick Gothic cathedral in Scandinavia, which was built in the 12th century. The Viking Ship Museum, which houses the remnants of five Viking ships that were sunk to protect Roskilde from maritime invasions, is another popular site. The Royal Palace, which is currently an art gallery, and the Roskilde Jars, three giant vases commemorating the Metropolis 1000th anniversary, are two other attractions worth seeing. The Roskilde Festival, a massive rock music festival, takes place here in late June and early July. Number 5. Skagen. Skagen shines against the deep blue grey of the North Sea, with its rows of terracotta roofed cottages and painted timber buildings. Denmark's northernmost town, known for its fresh air and picturesque location between the Jutland beaches and dunes, has long attracted painters and poets. Skagen's historical link to the sea is symbolized by an old lighthouse, while the seaside rose and St. Laurenti Veg Street are lined with glass, pottery and craft businesses, cementing Skagen's reputation as a town for artists and freethinkers. Number 4. Odens. Odens translates as Odin's shelter, but it's known for more than just being a safe haven for Norse god worshippers, because it is the birthplace and childhood home of the famed storyteller Hans Christian Andersen. 
Many statues and sculptures of his characters can be found throughout the town. The sweet dessert marzipan is especially famous in Denmark's third largest city. Furthermore, many of its features are visually appealing to visitors. An old Viking castle, the Funen Village Museum, which recreates life during Andersen's time there, Funen's Abbey, one of Denmark's oldest art museums, and St. Canute's Cathedral, built in the 11th century, are all on the list. Number 3. Faroe Islands. Rising like gigantic petrified boulders, where the Norwegian Sea meets the north, the Faroe Islands are the stuff of tales. Their beaches are chiseled and sheer cut, formed by rushing waterfalls, and capped with a layer of lush green vegetation. The northern lights twinkle in the sky, as raucous fishermen's taverns and pubs in the timber towns and hamlets below play the traditional local folk shanties. Despite being just half in and half out of Denmark, the Faroe Islands are self governing. These exotic and remote islands rarely fail to elicit gasps. Number 2. Aarhus. Aarhus is Denmark's second largest metropolis, with a population of 330,000 people. It began its life as a fortified Viking settlement in the 8th century. Aarhus has long been a commercial centre and is noted for its thriving music scene. An eight-day international jazz festival is held in the city every year. For the year 2017, Aarhus has been designated as the European capital of culture. Architecturally, it's a fascinating city, with influences ranging from the Vikings to the present day. The inner city has the oldest and best preserved houses. The 13th century Aarhus Cathedral, the city's longest and tallest church, dominates the cityscape. Number 1. Copenhagen. Copenhagen is every inch the cold, peaceful, and polished Scandinavian capital of the 21st century. It rises I Copenhagen, Denmark's largest city and capital, will be the starting point for the bulk of visitors. They should, for Copenhagen is a bustling metropolis with plenty to see and do. The country's cultural and financial centre has evolved from a medieval Viking fishing town. The Little Mermaid, a bronze monument based on a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, and Tivoli Gardens, Scandinavia's most popular entertainment park, attract the majority of visitors to Copenhagen. Copenhagen has a horizontal terrain with many fine castles and medieval churches, and the Christianshan neighborhood is famed for its Dutch Renaissance architecture. For more article visit expertrace.com.